All right. <laughs> Think about an everything bagel. Do you really know what's what goes on that everything bagel? I mean, I, have you been scratching your head about that? I'm have you has that up. been keeping you up at night? It has. I haven't <laughs> slept in three days. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you if the answer is yes, that you do know what's on everything bagel, you're lying. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Google Analytics is actually like an everything bagel. In fact, there's so, there's so many different layers and complexities, flavors, textures, smells, and data. <laughs> that just seems weird. <laughs> it's like a parfait. It, it is. No, I got it. I found it. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Uh, sunflower seeds. Stop it. Yeast. Yeah. <laughs> sesame seeds. Yeah. Dehydrated onion, which I called out. I, onion chips. Yeah. Cool. Uh, salt, cornmeal, and other stuff. I don't know if you're completely right there, Doug. That's the Dunkin' Donuts ingredients. But they, yeah, but why are you getting your ingredients from a donut? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me there. <laughs> can't, can't At least stuff. use Wikipedia. They're accurate. Oh, wait, no, it's Thomas Bread's. Uh, Everything now I'm out. So, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to use this as a, as a metaphor uh, for Google Analytics because there's a heck of a lot of things that you can get confused on and you just don't know about inside of Google Analytics, let alone the fact that they keep on changing things, right? We're going to throw some light, some Lot some light plain cream cheese. There you go. Onto this bagel. Light. With, and simplify the analytics. <laughs> no, I didn't say light. I yeah. said white. <laughs> light. Come on. That white flavor. That white flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is the flavor of cream cheese? Cream cheese. Cream cheese? <laughs> like, <laughs> like cream cheese icing. Should right, not, so that it has to be white cream cheese, right? Like, should you, not have done this before lunch. That's all I'm saying. Anyway. So I want to introduce. All Nate. I know is nobody brought bagels today. <laughs> that is true. We have a, sorely a disappointed. declared absence of bagels. <laughs> if you're going to, if we're going to, look. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> you guys if, we're, if we're going serious, to make some kind of food metaphor reason. on the show. Yeah, we need the food here. I think so. I think yeah. this is this is so, a this is a learning point. Right? So, what metaphor rule. should we have next week, Doug? Uh, let's see. Whiskey. Yeah, yeah, whiskey. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Google Bad Analytics words is, is like whiskey <laughs> because I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very expensive habit if you <laughs> it's, yeah seriously it might cost, might cost more yeah exactly all righty all righty so i'm gonna Don't introduce drink you in to edwards shut up nate uh i'm gonna, in, <laughs> I'm gonna drink uh, <laughs> i'm gonna introduce you to nate torvik now the marketing director of site strategic sir how are you doing uh, I'm doing well, kind of hungry now and maybe thirsty for some liquids that are inappropriate. Cream cheese, everything bagel, and whiskey. And whiskey. <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad combo. That can't be a bad combo, can it? It no. can It can at 9.30 in the morning. Yeah. Just saying. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends All right, on where you so, are. All right, so, Nate, you, were actually, you actually gave a presentation here in, locally in, 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 in Indianapolis uh, with this particular uh, line, of, line of thought here of kind of reintroducing Google Analytics and actually kind of giving a, 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 a map of sorts of understanding analytics to individuals that may have not even known what what it is or have had such a light experience with it they were a bit gun shy of the entire thing eh? i did so tell me how that went <laughs> it was it was really good it was a really good experience i think there were about 60 people there and um you know we kind of had a uh, multitude of skill levels within analytics there were some people that i talked to afterwards and they were like oh that was so great i didn't even know any of these things and i just do print design I'm like okay so why did you come? All right, here. well, that's fine. That's great. And there are people that were like, you know, it was a really good refresher. It'd be great if we did some more of those. So we're, yeah. you know, we're talking about doing a couple of kind of a series of the analytics, maybe get into 102 and 201 and 202 and 301 and 302 and other numbers that college courses and such. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Um, well, finish it off. 401, 401 and 402. <laughs> How go. far do they go? Then you graduate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. then and you then graduate. Just get your master's in <laughs> PhD. Oh, master's, okay, yeah. 502. 502. Yeah. And, yeah, so, I mean, it was a really good experience. They did not have everything bagels at the event, which was a uh, severe oversight um, <laughs> on somebody's part. But, the uh, you know, it was, it was a good experience. I really enjoyed it. All righty. Well, that's great. Why don't you give us a... Uh, <laughs> A jump Thank into. You. We don't so care what well. you think, Nate. <laughs> Tell us what you said. 
Yeah, so why don't you get, uh, get into some of the uh, the presentation that you gave there? Sure. So basically, we just walked through, um, you know, from initial setup to a lot of the things that you're going to want to have going for you on your website when you get into Google Analytics. So uh, initial setup, obviously, you're going to re be required to have a Gmail account, go in and sign into analytics, install the tracking code, um, make sure you have any conversion goals or event goals set up on your website, and then you're kind of done. Uh, it sounds pretty simple. Um, so probably look up some other extra resources outside of just trying to follow those four steps that I just said out loud. But uh, it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. And if you want to actually survive in the digital marketing space, or you really expect any results from your website and you, you want to get something out of it, it's really mm -hmm. where you need to be. I feel like that's a, that's a must have for clients as well because clients get lost in analytics. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so at least when you're putting the goals in and conversions in, that gives them some, something tangible to look at yep. that they're not questioning. You right. know, that they say, well, I know how many sales I got. There you go. Or, yeah, I mean, we've all had those clients that yeah. walk in and you get in access to their analytics and they have no goals set up, they have right. no conversions, sure. they have nothing, and we're looking at the data like, well, you have traffic. Right, yeah. period. Way right. to go. Yeah. Congratulations, you have a website and it's living. Kind yeah. of. We're getting ready to, ready to launch a website. Went to find the client's analytics code. They yeah. don't have analytics on their current website. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's I even like, worse scenario. I like that. that is the worst case scenario. <laughs> yeah, whether, whether or not you understand analytics, at least put it on your right, site. Right. I like the other one, too. Uh, I don't have access to it. Our last agency uh, did that. Uh, yep. yes. But then they trail off into the nothingness yeah, that is yep. the conversation that they're having with you. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, you covered uh, setting up and getting getting things installed. We certainly don't want to go through some of those basics. Our listeners are a little bit more uh, astute, but there are some clear areas that you wanted to guide these uh, these individuals in this presentation into, right? So beyond setup, right? And you know, it does uh, let's let's at least park in one space on setup uh, using using Google Tag Manager as opposed to getting the uh, Google Analytics code right on the footer of a, of a particular page. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? I certainly can. And by the way, it's the header um, that you want to put the Google <laughs> Analytics code in, just, just in Ooh, case anybody's he just went new school uh, on your butt. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, oh, snap. The boss uh -oh. hasn't set up analytics in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, Google Tag Manager exists as kind of a, an outside resource. So if, if mm -hmm. you don't have access to... Um, your website's back end and you can't get in there and you can't actually change out the page template or the, or the header file or anything like that, you can actually install Google Tag Manager, um, you know, have your, your IT guy or your web provider or your vendor just throw that in there for you quickly. Yep. Um, and you can then run any of, the, any of the tracking codes that you want, be it analytics or AdWords, uh, remarketing, any kinds of uh, call tracking software you might have, any kinds of heat mapping software you might have, all, all the fun stuff that you guys have heard about, you can mm -hmm. all do it within the Tag Manager um, one time and you don't have to go back and forth with your, yeah, with your vendor code. about installing it. Yeah, you're not touching code, so if you're scared you're gonna break something, you, right. you just throw it and you just, whatever yep. that your ID just is. Just the one time. Yeah, there's your some, ID and Tag There's some good uh, speed aspects of using yeah, yeah. Tag Manager too that, you know, if you, if you uh, you know, for instance, you have like the Twitter widget, you know, on your site. Well, if Twitter's down, a lot of times that'll just choke your page and yeah. stop your page. But right. You can put it in Tag Manager and have it post load so that your page loads fine, you know, whether or not, you know, one of these third parties is down or not. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's one of the better ways to do anything really on your website. If you if you have the opportunity to use Tag Manager, we highly recommend it. Got to streamline it, and you got to be paying attention to the speed as well yeah. uh, on a regular basis because yes. Google's telling us time and time again, speed counts. Although years ago, Doug, they were trying to deny that. I mean, it's it's right there in the crosshairs. Nate, you went you dove into part of the um, everything bagel metaphor here of what pieces are inside of Google Analytics and what to pay attention to. Uh, first and foremost, what did you find on the in your research on the everything bagel? You had six different items on there. The six different <laughs> items that are actually on an everything bagel, yes. according to like a New Yorker who I figure they probably oh, get those, right? Yeah. Um, so it's poppy seeds, yep. sesame seeds, yep. caraway seeds. Ah, uh, see that was the garlic. One. Yep. Onion. Onion and salt. Yep. Those nice. were the six items. We got a lot of we got a lot of different. We got a paprika when we were out there. You I got think. a cinnamon. Some no, I said cinnamon oh, actually because okay. I was <laughs> I was being a jerk. Um, yeah, but, tiger, tigers hate cinnamon. Yeah, 
That's true. They do. True. Um, I think there was a hangover. ginger reference. Somebody threw out a How ginger. How about that for a non sequitur? <laughs> <laughs> if you ever seen The Hangover, you know that is true. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So those those are the six things. But prior to, I think I had two that I came up with by myself that were accurate before I looked it up. Maybe. Well, nice. What, what about the bagel? What about the bagel? I mean, doesn't the bagel have to be in the everything bagel? No. Because if you just have those six things, those things don't make a bagel. They do. Actually, if you put all six of those things together in a room, bagel. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. You can actually buy everything toppings for bagels but online. Just the this, just, just like stuff. this stuff. Yeah. So I wonder for when you, you have that crappy friend who gets the plain bagels. Exactly. And you have to go to their house. Exactly. <laughs> we That's need, what I was need to be armed yeah. with that little packet yeah. of goodness. For the weirdo that likes the plain bagel. Are you coming over for breakfast? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're the okay. same people that make. So let's ones. let's let's. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this thing back. Yeah, a really <laughs> fruitful convo going on. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, what, what, we're, what we're looking at is that there are different layers and different areas inside of Google Analytics that have stabilized finally. And, and the, uh, you know, they're, they, they were moving things around, uh, you know, for the last couple of years. But um, the, the different pieces, the different layers are the, the, the elements inside of Analytics. You're dealing with audience acquisition behavior and conversions. Can you talk talk to us a little bit about those different pay, the, those different spaces? Yeah, so those are really going to be the four biggest parts of analytics that most people are going to be focused on. If you have your website set up in analytics, those are going to be the four places that you're going to want to go um, to make sure that you are at least looking at some sort of your data. So the audience section um, is really about exactly that, your audience, what they're doing, uh, what their demographics are, mm -hmm. where they're located, what they're searching on, what their screen resolution is, all kinds of great stuff that you can find about the people that are on your website in there. Geography. Geography as well. Yep. Technology. Technology, which is they have to have in order to get on your website. Um, you know, but different. I mean, different default. different mobile experiences and this, that, and the other. Yeah, so. you can tell if somebody's on their Nexus Seven or their iPhone three G. Mm -hmm. um, you want to call that person and tell them to get a new phone, probably. But uh, you know, and then if you go through the acquisition section again, that's pretty similar. You're going through, um, you know, how. Uh, those people got acquired. So that's where you're going to have your organic traffic, your direct traffic, right. referral, social, paid. All that information is going to be in there. You're going to want to track that stuff over time. And if mm -hmm. you're somebody who's hired an SEO agency, um, that organic number is really where you're going to want to focus. Absolutely. So that's the stuff that, that's, that helps you decide that they're either succeeding or failing. Um, and even that's a misnomer because if you're actually getting traffic, a lot of organic traffic from terms, well, first and foremost, we can't see most of the terms inside of analytics anymore. Right. They shut that out uh, several years back where we were able to see accuracy of exactly what uh, people are typing in through, from, through Google to be able to bring organic traffic. But here's the deal is that you may not be wanting all the traffic that you're getting right now. Right. So you really can't see that next dimension, but you could be getting some erroneous traffic, people finding you in a different buyer's mindset or, or you know, non sequitur, non sequitur traffic coming in. And, you know, it's not a, I don't think it's a fair litmus test to the SEO provider if they're just moving the organic needle up. No, it's not fair. <laughs> Nothing's fair. But it is it is part of what a lot of people look at. I mean, you, if if you are a client and some and you have hired an SEO company, it's something that you should mm -hmm. pay attention to. Absolutely, absolutely. So acquisition, and then uh, you got into behavior. Yeah, I did yes. The behavior section um, is you know that that stuff's always pretty interesting. You can really get into how people are interacting with the different mm -hmm. pages on your website. So if you have a page, uh, the example that I kept coming up with during the presentation, what that made no sense was cat hats. I have no idea. I heard a commercial on the radio about cat hats, and that <laughs> is the only thing that stuck with me all morning. Um, was cat hats. So every time I kept talking about it, I was like, if you make a page on cat hats and people looked at me and I was like, I don't know, somebody does it somewhere. Now I saw cat turtles and that was you take a baseball cap and put it over a cat and the cat walks around with the... Aww. Oh, I like that. So, yeah. yeah. This, and I just fish. saw that. A whole and video batfish. on cat turtling. <laughs> cat turtling? <laughs> <laughs> Which is a totally different... Uh, yeah, why? <laughs> totally but... Why? but these are the things if you if you are trying if somebody's coming to your cat hat page and you're getting a lot of organic visits on it maybe it's something that you should expand on do a little do some more content around probably cat if you're hats. selling of cat hats. hats probably if you're selling cat hats but yeah, if you're not selling yeah. cat hats but you really want to get into the market 
uh, you know, you got to start small. <laughs> yeah. We're really going to keep this going, aren't yeah. we? Well, cat hats probably are small. <laughs> just, but and it, well, it depends on how, it depends on how big your cat. Yeah, that's is. true. Could be for lions. If it's right. so, so, so Bengal conversion tiger. overview. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about conversions uh, about, about those cat hats. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if if you're selling cat hats um, and you really want to keep track of how many cat hats you're selling, you know, yeah. if you're selling red ones or felt ones or whatever, mm -hmm. um, you want to make sure that you have those conversion goals set up within the conversion section you can find all that information to make sure that everything's accurate and you can really track the um, the ROI that's really where you start to figure out all right, right my my campaign is succeeding or failing based on my conversion goals and the goals that I've set up for my company if you don't have those goals figured out as a as a company yep. that's a, a deeper seated issue that you guys should uh, definitely work on but that's really where you want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth yeah, absolutely absolutely uh, I mean inside of Inside of conversions, you also have the ability of, of even plugging in your e-commerce true monetary data into into Google Analytics to be able to see and correlate what referral source is actually constituting what what transactions in your in your organization in your website. So Google has made it very friendly to a heck of a lot of of e-commerce engines to be able to pipe that true monetary value in so there's it's more than just uh goals there's a lot more that you can you can uh, you can invest in from a data standpoint to really understand what it means to you as yep. opposed life to is about more than phone calls and form fills depending on who yeah, you, you are got that so right. you got to figure out what it is that what it is that you're looking for um you know and, and make sure that you have that stuff set up accurately mm -hmm. absolutely so uh did that round out the Pretty much uh, the, the the presentation. That's the yeah, point. I think so. There was a uh, there, toward the end of the presentation one that there was a a pickup line that I wanted to share with everybody just in case you know if you guys feel like using it at some point later in time. <laughs> um, most people have seen the uh, the Ryan Gosling "Hey Girl" memes oh, yeah. on the internet. Yeah. Um, so the pickup line is if you know "Hey Girl, do you believe in love at first sight, or do I need to start a new session?" <laughs> <laughs> that's banging. So. <laughs> And, so when, and when, his, when we're talking, when we're talking, what's your conversion rate on that? Point <laughs> 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 zero zero. For, for guys who use know. that line, they'll take one percent probably. I don't know. I, I, I met my wife before I started using analytics, so I never had to worry about it. So Nate, uh, when we're talking concentric circles of Ryan Gosling, of Ryan Gosling, the seven, the six degrees of no, Aaron. I don't think no. you want to talk about concentric circles of Ryan no, Gosling. No, but actually, I probably if it, if Ryan I think Gosling I'm banned from using that metaphor. Yeah, yes. if Ryan Gosling yes. walked up to me. And, and asked me that question, I would, I'd, I'd do whatever you wanted. <laughs> wow. Okay. There it is. Let's head to the T. Haven't this. you guys seen that movie where he didn't? Never mind. <laughs> so you talked about some cool tools uh, that we use, and we and referenced Deep Crawl, SpyFu, SEM Rush, uh, Screaming Frog, all these different things to understand behavior of a website. But it was truly unpacking Google Analytics and actually giving giving people an insight into what they can really see. From their website, and a lot, a lot of business owners that are listening to this show may not know that you can see so much of inside of their website and seeing what's actually happening. More importantly, one of the biggest things is bounce rate and actually understanding how your users are interacting with your website and seeing what they're seeing is valuable and what they're not. It gets down to if if you're not getting any type of of uh, uh, testing going and understanding. Uh, what your consumers are actually liking. It's all, you're, you're building everything in your own bubble. You're not getting anything, any kind of verification of the content value you have out there. You know, uh, uh, Doug has Marketing Tech Blog, and he's watching the balance rates of different blog posts that he's putting out there on a regular basis. And, and you know, the consumers tell you what they like and what they don't like by their very amount of time that they're spending on on each and every page, right? right? And the fact that his bounce rates are so high is probably not good for him, but... Look, <laughs> <laughs> I do not have... A, you know, an interesting thing there, though, right, is something will spike, you know, an infographic will take off, and, and all of a sudden we'll get, you know, 20,000 people on the site. Yeah, right. Well, the bounce rate's going to spike. Oh, yeah, for sure. Know, yeah, so, absolutely. But that's, know, not so, that's not so one of those things that, um, as a as a user or as a client or a company that you should get too bogged down right. in if you have something like we a like to watch trends piece. yeah yeah 
Very good. All right. Hey, we're, we're going to jump into the seas of Mar. Thank you very much, Nate. That was yeah, a really good presentation. If, and thank you for uh, presenting it to Indianapolis. That, yeah, that was good. Yeah. If you guys are interested, if anybody's interested in yeah. actually seeing um, the slide that we put together or watching the video, um, the video is like 32 minutes or so. You can mm -hmm. get my, my full Ryan Gosling uh, clip in there. And I'm, some, and I'm interested other. for anybody who watched the presentation to hear what their success rate is with that Ryan with Gosling the Ryan. picture. Yeah, I, I, told, I, I told them that if they were going to use it, they had to call me first so I can nice. at least like be there and nice. see what happens. <laughs> Witness but the you can go to uh, You can go to sitestrategics.com slash google dash analytics dash 101 um, and get all that information there. Do you have to cry like Ryan Gosling does all the time? Do you have to shed a tear? Yeah, I, tearing up will help, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And wow. and puppies. <laughs> and tears and puppies usually work. So you've heard it here. Now there. we're giving dating advice. Exactly. There's your dating conversion advice from Site Strategics. Here's the web. Puppies, baby. <laughs> <laughs>